Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Daughter of God on Instagram and YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is February 10th, 2024 and today's daily scripture reading is found in 1 Peter chapter 1. So 1 Peter chapter 1 and the word says, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the pilgrims of the dispersion on Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father and sanctification of the Spirit for obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God, through faith, for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now, for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold, that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, you love. Though now you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving the end of your, I'm sorry, receiving the end of your faith the salvation of your souls. Of this salvation, the prophets have inquired and searched carefully, who prophesied of the grace that will come to you, searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ, who was in them, was indicating when he testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glories that would follow. For them it was revealed that not to themselves but to us they were ministering the things which now have been reported to you through those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven things which, which angels desire to look into. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not conforming yourselves to the former lust, as in your ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. And if you call on the Father, who without partiality judges, according to each one's work, conduct yourselves throughout the time of your stay here in fear knowing that you are not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. He indeed was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are in God. Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit and sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart, having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible, through the word of God which lives and abides forever, because all flesh is as grass. And all the glory of man as the flower of the grass. The grass withers and its flowers. I'm sorry. The grass withers and its flowers falls away. But the word of the Lord endures forever. Now this is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. Amen. And then on the index card, I just wrote. Thank you, Abba Father, for the living hope that we have in your Son, Jesus Christ. Through his death, burial, and resurrection, we now have hope to all, I should have said to all who believe that Jesus is the Son of God and confess with our mouth that he is Lord, we shall be saved. We have this beautiful inheritance that is I'm sorry, we have this beautiful inheritance that is heavenly, that awaits us, 
Let us not forget that not only must we believe in Jesus Christ, but we must deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow after Jesus daily. Thank you that we have the Holy Spirit that dwells in us who sanctifies us, teaches us, guides us, gives us power, and so much more. Thank you for not leaving us clueless here on earth, but we have your word and Holy Spirit that guides us, I'm sorry, and shows us all truth. Thank you for this great gift of salvation through our faith in Jesus Christ that points us to you, Abba, which is God, our Father. Thank you. And isn't it amazing that we read our faith in the Lord is so much more precious than gold. What is it? Gold? Where did I see that? Yeah, it's so much more precious than gold that perishes. Our faith is amazing. And then just this hope. Our faith and our hope that we have in God through Jesus Christ, his son. It is amazing. Allow us to stand on the truth of the word, the hope that Jesus gives us. Allow our faith to grow and grow each and every day, no matter what we go through. Allow us to put our faith and our trust And our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who points us to Abba Father, God the Father. And allow us to walk that narrow path. Let us stay on the narrow path that leads to the Lord, that leads to eternal life, to salvation. All right, well, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night whenever you come across this video. God bless each and every one of you all. Take care. Bye.